So guys, I am back with yet another Black Myth Wukong video. And in this video guide, people, I bring you a brand new XP farm I've seen no one else even talk about. Never mind post. It will give you roughly around 3600 will every run. Um, but you also get other materials too. You get many, many, many different medicines. You also get plenty of those gold little thingies. What are they called here? Um can't remember what these you get loads i got 68 i didn't even know i had that much you get many other items too guys so this one you don't want to miss how's it going guys my name is dpj now i'm giving away a copy of black myth wukong now to win it it's as simple as this drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed the more i see you active on my black myth videos the more of a chance you have of winning um i will pick winners from the comment section and announce them on tomorrow evening's video so good luck everybody Okay, so this farm consists of you rounding up around 12 enemies. Each of these enemies drop around 300 will each. Um, they also drop other materials too. You round them up and you just slay them, guys. Nothing is really required. I mean, you can use things to make this more efficient, but it is completely up to you. It isn't hard whatsoever. Okay, so you need to come to this shrine right here, which is um, the temple entrance. This is within the Temple of Yellow Flowers, so within the Warped Hollow. You want to come down to here guys and if you haven't got this unlocked yet uh, I'm pretty sure it's a straightforward shrine to find I don't think it's out of the way But if you just find a guide on YouTube there's hundreds of these things so yes So this is what we do guys So you want to come up from the shrine up these steps right here Now it's a little bit of a run I'd say about a 20 second run if that Then guys you round up all these enemies And then we just slay them Now I combine uh, my duplicates I combine my um, transformation and I combine a couple of other things to take them out as quickly as possible. But again, that's completely up to you and what you use here. Um, but yeah, so this is a spot, guys. So you can see all these worm dudes here. Just run past them all. You want to gather the, all of these up. They do sometimes get the odd stray one that doesn't come, but that's all right because you can always take them out after if you want to. Or to just make it more efficiently, just fast travel back to the, um, the shrine. So yeah, run around all these guys, and I think there's 12 here in total, maybe 13. We'll just make sure you don't miss any. There's one more line down right there, guys. So from here, I use my cloud step, then I bring out all my duplicates. Then I bring out my Yo uh, Yondu's uh, flying arrow, and let's transform. Jump in the middle of him. I blow myself up, and then just literally just fight the rest of them. It's just like a battle royale in here guys. I'm sorry if you can hear me spamming my buttons here. But you can see the things we get here. Tiny pieces of the gold. Getting many medicines. We get way more different medicines than that. Again, plenty of will too. Like I said, it's like 300 per one. So you can see what I'm saying about there's always that one. That doesn't want to play ball. Like this guy here. <laughs> just away in it. Just away. So we take him out guys. And there we go. So from here guys, if you've got the uh, incense tray or talisman equipped, just fast travel straight back down to that shrine. And then you can run straight back up here, rinse and repeat over and over and over. I'm not sure how long a run takes, probably a couple of minutes, you can probably do this faster. But yeah, now I've got a few things equipped on my uh, character to make things more efficient for me in regards to drops. Um, I have firstly, I've got this right here, the lantern holder, which moderately increases will gained we also have here guys this mask right here the school of turtle treasure moderately increases the chance of obtaining materials upon killing an enemy um, we have the gold flow hairpin this increases that will gain from defeating enemies we have the celestial registry tablet slightly increases experience gain from defeating enemies and we have the golden carp uh, again increases drop chances of materials now i've made a video i posted it earlier today of how you get all of these besides this which i thought i completely forgot about to be honest a lantern holder well it's very very easy to get this which if you don't know about this i'll just put a short clip at the end of the video of where this comes from yes guys that's what i have equipped and again run up the steps do what you got there's actually a couple of those worm guys down in that corner too you could always take them out beforehand if you wanted to um, but I think for efficiency wise, just do this and again, like I said, there's probably much much quicker ways to taking all of these out once you've gathered them all up and I'm just overthinking things and just, you know, using my ashen slumber 
which isn't necessary, like I said. I know the other, for the other farm to make it efficient, you definitely need the Ashen Slumber. And this one, like I said, you can use any transformation, don't really matter. Okay, make sure they're all... Normally if you hit them, they definitely come towards you. Uh, but sometimes, like I said, you get that lazy when it goes back to sleep. Mitch, get up! Okay, so now this guy here is the last one alive. I mean, the last one asleep, so yeah. Use my Cloud Step, spawning my duplicates. Yonder's arrow, Ashen Slumber, jump in the middle of it, and then just let myself go. And then, guys, I just literally just fight it out. Just fight it out. <laughs> Again, I apologize about the spamming of the button. But yeah, I'm not even looking, I'm looking at what's popping up on my screen, to be honest. Okay, so okay, see what I mean? There's always that there's always that one. There's always that one that lets it down while I'm recording. Yeah, pain in the ass. You're gonna move, mate. You're gonna move, mate. Bloody yeah, what was, I don't know if my controller lost connection then. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> you know what, you're getting it. In a bit, lad. And there we have it guys. So yeah, that's basically the new farm. You may as well take advantage of it guys, like I said it's easy to do, it doesn't require much if anything and again the materials or the items that I have equipped right here guys, I'll put a video link in the description which showcases the location of all of these but yeah and then guys on screen now you'll see how you get the lantern holder. So guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like, it really helps out, enjoy the rest of it and hopefully I will see you on that next one.